All right, so we are talking about the Western Conference final matchup here. Two games in between the Vegas Golden Knights and the Dallas Stars. We'll be taking a look at the series so far, who I think could win this series at this point, and an analysis of the first two games. We'll be looking at that in this video. If you like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey and want to see the latest news around the NHL, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe down below. And let's take a look at this Western Conference matchup. Alright, so later on, check out our video talking about the Eastern Conference final matchup between the Islanders and the Tampa Bay Lightning. But in this video, we are taking a look at the Western Conference matchup. The Dallas Stars and the Vegas Golden Knights were two games into the series, each team splitting a victory in the series thus far. And make sure as well, before I get into this, make sure to check out our Instagram at goalline underscore hockey. I talk about the latest news around the league. And as well as our story, make sure to check that out as well. All right, so let's get right into it. So starting things off in game one, it was all Dallas because there was only one goal on the board as Anton Hudobin, once again, continuing his crazy run this year. He gets a shutout in that game, a one nothing victory. John Klingberg, less than three minutes into the first period. That's the only goal of the game. John Klingberg's third of the postseason. And that would be the only goal we see the entire game. A 25-save shutout for Dobby in between the pipes for the Dallas Stars. A pretty nice game one for the Stars, shutting down that really high-potent offense in Vegas. The Golden Knights went 0-4 for 4 on the power play. That was a pretty solid performance in game one for the Dallas Stars. And the Vegas Golden Knights hung in there, but just Anton Hudobin was unstoppable in game one. Then we move on to game two. And the, the story kind of uh, flips as the Vegas Golden Knights win game two by a score of 3 nothing, And they took control of this game. Um, they, I mean, the shots are in their favor as well. They get 32 shots to the Dallas Stars, 24. Um, the Golden Knights were all over the place. You see uh, Paul Stastny, uh, William Carlson, and Tomas Noshek uh, each getting goals. And the third period, they locked things down, and that was it. Uh, so a pretty solid performance from the Vegas Golden Knights. Their power play, still a little bit of an issue. They went one for six on the power play, did the Vegas Golden Knights, but they did score on the power play. And then you see uh, the Dallas Stars go 0 for 2 on the power play, which has been an issue. But again, Anton Hudobin, you can't really blame him that much. He did give up three goals. Uh, but when your team does not score goals, this is the issue that we've seen. And I've been talking about it for the past couple of weeks with the Dallas Stars. You need... Tyler Sagan, Jamie Benn, Alexander Radulov to be firing on all cylinders. And then you need help from the guys like Rupe Hintz, Denis Gurianov, uh, jo uh, Yoel Kivaranta, who we saw at the end of that uh, last series. So you need to see more of the scoring from this Dallas Stars team. That's been an issue for this team for a while, and I've been saying that uh, they need to figure that out. I really like the Dallas Stars. They put up a really great effort in Game 1, but they seem to take a step back here in Game 2. The Vegas Golden Knights definitely showed up for Game 2. They were ready to go. They knew they had to win this game. Robin Leonard is on the brink of a shutout playoff record at this point. He has been unbelievably hot for the Vegas Golden Knights this postseason. As much as this may of the Mark andre Fleury fans out there, let's not kid ourselves. Robin Leonard has been unreal this year. Uh, for the Vegas Golden Knights. Is he the starting goaltender next season? We'll be talking about that in the offseason. I think it's too early to, to think that far ahead. But he has really put up a solid performance here this year with the Vegas Golden Knights. Um, so then it brings about the question, you know, what do the Dallas Stars do moving forward? I think they need to make some moves uh, up front and just try and change things up. Joe Pavelski, I mean, I love this guy. I really like what he's done in his career with the San Jose Sharks. But he needs to find some more success in the postseason and getting more goals. We've seen him score some big goals you know, in Game 7 of the last series and stuff. But we need to see more Joe Pavelski. He is a leader on that team. He is one of the vets in the room to calm those young guys down. They need big Joe Pavelski to be a difference maker uh, here for the Dallas Stars. As well as those top guys, like I said. We're even seeing guys like John Klingberg, who scored in the first game, getting on the board. But he's the only man to have a goal in the first two games here for the Dallas Stars. So the lack of scoring has been there. They won game one. They got lucky. Well, not lucky, but you know the Vegas Golden Knights did not score in game one. 
Who's to say if the Golden Knights scored one? Now we go to overtime. I don't know how confident I am in the Dallas Stars with that situation. So, you know, they remind me a lot of the New York Islanders where that lack of scoring is a huge issue. And they're paying some guys a lot more money than the New York Islanders are. Uh, guys like Sagan, Ben, uh, Radulov. So they need to see those guys putting in some results if they want to get uh, to that next step, which is inevitably the Stanley Cup Final. We're down to the tough teams now. There's no easy way out here for the Dallas Stars. And for the Vegas Golden Knights, I like how they look in this series right now, especially with Robin Leonard in between the pipes. I think we're going to see back and forth shutouts because both these goaltenders have just been so good in this year's playoffs. It's going to be a battle in between the pipes at the end of the day. I think that's going to be the difference uh, in this series. So comment down below. What do you think of the series so far? What would you like to see the Dallas Stars fix? Vegas Golden Knight fans, how do you feel about Robin Leonard right now? He looks pretty solid in between the pipes. Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you like what we're doing here at Gold Line Hockey and want to see the latest news around the NHL, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.